China, the kidney in the bathtub story is not only real, it is state-sponsored. It is run by the Chinese government. And it does not just use regular prisoners, rapists, murderers, and the like. It uses prisoners of conscience. The majority of these prisoners are practitioners of Falun Gong, which is a peaceful Buddha school practice. These prisoners in China are being held in camps, having all their vital statistics taken, blood type and so on, and then executed when on demand, when a suitable recipient makes a booking for surgery to receive a kidney or heart, liver or other organ. And they're treated like animals and they're slaughtered like animals. That is why I consider this a crime against humanity, not a question of prisoners' rights or rights of use. The parallels to what was happening to Jewish prisoners and others in Nazi concentration camps in Germany were too obvious to ignore. The government in China was doing a terrible thing, which is comparable to what the Nazis did. And the Falun Gong persecution began in July of 1999. Organ transplants in China began doubling and tripling from the year 2000. Many practitioners refused to reveal their identities in order to protect their families. So that leads to a large pool of unidentified or anonymous prisoners in good health who are, quote, not on the books. They can be killed with impunity. Everybody knows that Falun Gong practitioners are considered healthier than many people. They you don't smoke or drink, you are very disciplined, you do exercises every day, and tragically, a lot of people who have hepatitis or whatever, both in China and outside of China, think they must get liver, whatever organ, from a Falun Gong practitioner, and as uh, David Maness and I have discovered, there's a real effort to get Falun Gong, innocent prisoners of conscience from Falun Gong, to be killed for their organs. There's no evidence that Falun Gong is a cult of any sort. There's no evidence um, of, of, of political action to try and bring down the Chinese government. Um, there's no evidence of anything other than a, a deep desire to be left alone to practice um, their spiritual beliefs in peace and to not be locked up and murdered. China is a sovereign country. In some ways we abhor the ethical arguments around it are clear. We abhor what is happening. Very few people actually have heard about the situation and those who hear about it, they just won't believe it. It's so awful, you can't imagine it's true. So what we need to do is to put out the facts, tell about what's happening in China so no, more people get aware of the situation. My first reaction was that I was shocked too and first thought, just, this just can't be true. This is so disgusting, so awful. Mankind can't be that mean. But then you get the facts, the numbers of people being murdered. And you see, it's true. The regime in China is this awful. And when you realize this is true, you have to do something about it. So what can we do? My action is to try and publicize these atrocities. I'm hoping that you too will give this your attention by letting your friends know, speaking to people at work. I'm sure you, like me, would want to let other people know this is going on because ultimately we need to bring pressure on China to stop this atrocious activity.